Alexander Fleming was a Scottish biologist and pharmacologist, winner of the Nobel Prize and well known for his discovery of penicillin. Fleming was born in Ayrshire in Scotland in 1881 and he attended local schools before he moved to London where he attended the Royal Polytechnic Institution. When he was 20 he inherited some money from one of his uncles and he decided to enrol at St Mary's Medical Hospital School in Paddington, London and qualified with distinction in 1906. He began bacteria, vaccine and immunology research at the hospital and then served in the Royal Army Medical Corps during World War I. He later returned to the hospital determined to find antibacterial agents after witnessing the deaths of so many of his comrades from sepsis or infection. At the time, antiseptics were used to treat infection, but these ultimately only worked on surface wounds and did nothing for deeper injuries. In 1928, Fleming was working on the properties of some Staphylococcus bacteria in his laboratory. His laboratory was often untidy, and he stacked his bacterial cultures in the corner of his laboratory before he went on holiday. Upon his return, he found mould growing on one of the cultures, and that the bacteria surrounding the mould had been destroyed. He then grew the pure mould from the penicillium family separately and found that it produced an intriguing substance which killed certain bacteria. He named the new substance penicillin in 1929. Fleming then tried to isolate the antibiotic agent, but finally abandoned his discovery in 1940. Two scientists, Australian Howard Florey and Britain Ernst Chain, continued the research, however, and began mass-producing penicillin in 1945 after successful clinical trials. The humble Fleming took little credit for the new drug, but all three men were awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1945. Fleming died in 1955 of a heart attack and is interred in St Paul's Cathedral.